Hi, Mark Gordon with the Gold, Silver, and Spider Report on December 19th, 2011. This is the GLD, uh, the uh, Gold ETF, down about a quarter of a percent today. A very tight little trading range here. Um, not a lot of volume here. You see the volume below average here. And uh, did make a little bit of a higher high than uh, Friday. And um, uh, but closed below uh, the high that was made uh, uh, that day. Uh, Thursday was um, the uh, low of 151.71, uh, which came on less volume than Wednesday. Wednesday was a pretty much a washout day, big, uh, uh, long-ranging day here, uh, gapping down in the morning below this key black dotted line, the 200-day moving average. Uh, taking that out on tremendous volume, uh, not a great sign. Uh, closing near the lows there. Uh, we are still below the 200-day moving average, which is a, a bearish sign. Um, we are uh, uh, back in the range of lows made here uh, in September, and um, trying to find a bottom here, in my opinion. Uh, uh, not a time to jump back into the market. This uh, um, could go lower. Uh, trying to find a bottom here. Uh, we do have the uh, gray out of line, the 10-day moving average uh, sloping down. The 21-day, uh, the red, is sloping down as well. Having crossed over the 50-day moving average here, uh, not a great sign for the short-term traders. So uh, short-term, um, really not a trend developing yet. Um, your bottom fishers will uh, want to try to jump in here, uh, maybe setting stops a little bit below this 151.71 area, hoping uh, that they uh, can find a, um, a bottom here. But uh, uh, longer term traders, not, not yet, uh, not, not time to, uh, to jump in. And uh, moving to a weekly chart of the GLD, uh, you can see um, that we are below the uh, key 40 week moving average. We broke this trend line here last week uh, that had been in place for over a year and a half. Uh, that was uh, you could draw a line along the lows and it would hold and, and we took that out in a big way uh, so in my opinion um, the um, intermediate term trend is now down in gold uh, is this just a temporary uh, washout here we don't know yet but uh, until we can uh, start getting some closes back above this 40 week moving average and um, uh, maybe uh, uh, come up here challenge this upper trend line here and break through then uh, uh, the uh, direction of the market uh, could turn. But until then, um, on the sidelines, waiting this out. And going to a monthly chart of gold, down about 8.9% uh, so far uh, this month here. Uh, not a great month for gold. You can see here that we took out this blue line. This is the 10-month moving average. We are now below it and uh, failed to rally above that last week after, after piercing that line. Something we have not done in quite a long time. Uh, we have not uh, actually closed below this line uh, until uh, back here in 2008 uh, during the big washout. So um, sort of a dangerous little area here. Hopefully gold can uh, right itself back up. If not, uh, I would not be surprised if we took a trip down here to the 20-month moving average to test that. And that's at 1465, 1465. Uh, dollars. Um, this is the actual physical price of gold. So 1465 that would be roughly about $130 um, uh, uh, lower than here. Um, but uh, even if it did come down here and test that, the long-term trend of gold would still be intact. Um, it actually uh, took a trip down here in 2008 uh, to the 40-month moving average and recovered quite nicely. So uh, big uh, bull run in gold, still intact, but um, short-term weakness. And moving on to silver, this is the SLV having a much worse day, down 3.08%. Um, uh, not a good day here on a pickup in volume. Um, down here, way below the 200-day moving average, this black dotted line, way below the 100-day, the green line, and uh, below the 50, and uh, all, all the moving averages below that. Um, Following the Bollinger Band down, uh, not a great sign here. So um, uh, broke out of this triangle formation that was uh, forming here uh, uh, last week in a big way, uh, on big volume, slicing through that and uh, taking out some previous lows here. Uh, so far, getting support above uh, this uh, low that it made back in late September of 2741. So that's holding uh, up and also the low that it made about a week and a half later here. Uh, so finding support down in that area, but still silver looking weak. 
And moving on now to a weekly chart of silver, we can see um, that we're down below all the key moving averages. Uh, broke this uh, little triangle formation here on a weekly basis here last week. Um, and uh, sitting down here uh, uh, against the lows here uh, that have held since September. So um, silver trying to find a bottom here, hopefully uh, repairs uh, this, uh, this damage here and uh, builds a sideways basing pattern. I wanted to call your attention to some possible weakness in silver. Um, this is a, a monthly chart of silver uh, down 12.22% uh, so far uh, this month here. Um, <clears throat> you can see here that we are now down below the 20 month moving average, this green dotted line. Something that uh, has not happened in quite a while. In fact, you have to go all the way back here to early uh, 2009 for the closes below that. And that was during the um, uh, big 08, uh, uh, late 08, early 09 uh, sell-off here. Uh, so um, again, like gold, um, you know, had been in a nice long uh, uh, bullish pattern. The upside now kind of breaking down. Uh, certainly being below the 20-month moving average is a sign of weakness as a lot of the longer-term traders uh, consider um, that as a, a sort of a, a breaking point there. So something to watch. Hopefully we get some uh, get a move back up above that. Um, that currently is at $30.45, $30.45. Uh, on a positive note, you do see the volume tapering off as, uh, as silver comes down in price. Um, which is divergent, you know, um, uh, a pickup in volume as as uh, the prices fall would uh, would be a negative. So um, let's hope that silver can right itself and uh, and uh, towards the end of the month get back over uh, this uh, green dotted line, which uh, will help bring up more potential buyers into the market. And looking at the S and P 500, uh, we were down about a little over one percent today. Um, down here below the 50-day moving average, the 50-day, this blue line is pointing up, good sign there, but uh, we lost some traction here today uh, on light volume and uh, less volume than uh, on Friday, uh, which is okay. So we've been hugging that line for three days and now broke down, finding support down here at the green dotted line and this trend line here. Um, uh, so um, that's a, you know, a point that uh, we should, uh, uh, you know, if this uh, market's going to go higher, it should hold here, which would suggest that there are uh, potential um, uh, people in for a bit longer term trade here. So uh, we're coming to the point of, um, of reckoning, again, reckoning again as we come down to this lower trend line, which is held here uh, since October. Uh, of course, uh, on the way back up, your first resistance will come in at the blue line, the 50-day moving average, which will now be what we call overhead resistance on the way back up. And then right above that, you have the 200-day, this black line, and then right above that, you'll have the upper trend line. So um, uh, all in all, uh, caught in a trading range here, forming a triangle and uh, testing uh, possibly the lower end of the range here. Now, short-term traders uh, may want to play a bounce up off of this line if it doesn't break it, uh, break through it too bad. Um, uh, and your uh, longer intermediate-term traders would start to get more bullish if we took out this upper trend line here. And if we go to a weekly chart, we can see uh, this uh, formation here a little bit better. Um, uh, the upper trend line clearly comes into view here up above this uh, black line, the 40-week moving average. So caught in this sort of wide-ranging uh, trading range here um, uh, for uh, the last, let's call it, uh, two months. And going to a monthly chart of the S&P 500, uh, we can see that the 20-month moving average, the green dotted line, is holding. And we have this interesting convergence here. We have the red line, which is the four-month moving average, and the green dotted line, the 20-month moving average, both uh, coming together here, and we're sitting right on that. So. Um, getting some support here. So let's see if that holds. And uh, a break of that and a close below that um, uh, would um, uh, suggest that uh, we could be going lower as we did here um, uh, earlier in the year here. We had uh, one month uh, uh, closing uh, down below that 20 month and then quickly rebounding back up. And uh, so that's where we stand now. So, um, uh, so far holding up here. So as you can see, uh, 2011 uh, not been an easy uh, year. We started the year out strong. Uh, we're, we're ramping up month after month following this uh, upper Bollinger Band here. And then boom, uh, um, made a new high here, uh, 134.95, and then uh, been pulling back and stuck in a wide-ranging uh, trading range here for the last five months here. 
and uh, have been living below this uh, blue line, which is the 10 month moving average, which has been providing overhead resistance here. So um, not been easy lately. Um, uh, so a uh, good note is that we're tightening up a little bit here. Hopefully uh, uh, we build a base and can move up. So I hope my chart analysis helps and uh, I'll see you next time.